Hi, I'm Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to make this. I'm going to show you what to do with this thing. Quick and easy recipe using the acorn squash. The biggest issue with cooking with squash, whether it's butternut squash or acorn squash, pretty much any squash, is getting through the skin. You want to make sure you use a sharp knife. You want to use the biggest knife you have. No, I'm not using this one. I'm going to use a bigger knife. If you have a large chef knife, make sure it's nice and sharp. This one here is my sharpest knife, so I'm going to use this. So first thing I want to do is take off this stem here. So we're going to knock off the nub a little bit and we're going to flatten it out. So you want to hold it tight with your other hand and just kind of run through like that. So it'll sit nice and flat like that. The next thing is instead of cutting from the top, if you have a large knife or a big cleaver, you can probably go right through the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take it right underneath this, uh, this tip here and I'm just going to press in and rock it back and forth until I get through like that, just like that. And it just falls, falls in half. Now, the next part is getting, getting rid of the seeds and all the membranes that are uh, on the inside. And I'll just use a spoon. You can use a scoop if you have it. And just gonna clean that out. All right, we'll take the other half and just, again, just gonna clean it out. Now you can save the seeds if you like. You can, you can roast them up, bake them, throw them in the oven. Got nice and toasted, a little salt and pepper on them, maybe a little garlic powder. So I'm going to uh, season these up a little bit and I'm going to bake them in my air fryer for about half hour till they soften a little bit. So I'm going to grab my air fryer, add some olive oil to the tops, season it with a little salt and pepper. Just rub that in a little bit just to get it all over the flesh. So I'm going to take this, put it in my air fryer at about 350 degrees for about a half hour until it gets nice and toasted on the top. In the meantime, I'm going to get some stuffing ready by chopping a few cloves of garlic, some green onions. I'm also using some dried chorizo sausages, which I removed the casing and diced them up. Add in some cooked rice that completely cooled, about a cup of shredded cheddar cheeses, both white and orange. Get them all into a large bowl and add one large egg to help bind it all together. A half a cup of grated Parmigiano cheese, two tablespoons of cream cheese, 12 club crackers or butter crackers crushed up, about a quarter cup of seasoned breadcrumbs, some salt and black pepper, just a drizzle of olive oil. Oh, and I almost forgot half bell pepper diced and some fresh mozzarella also diced for easy mixing. And finally, some fresh basil from my home garden and give everything a good mixing. The acorn squash has been baking for about 25 minutes. I took it out a little bit earlier because uh, my knife went through it pretty quickly. Uh, so it's pretty much done here. So we're going to stuff it with the rice mixture. So I'm just going to spoon this stuff into it. Spoon the mixture in. Pack it in nicely. So we have now I have plenty of this rice, so I'm going to be baking it later. Okay, do the other one. So now I'm gonna get these back into the air fryer. Just gonna get it right back in here. It's still hot, so it's it'll cook nice and quickly. Take the stuffed acorn squash in the air fryer at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 more minutes. So for the rest of the rice, I'm gonna use a silicone tray. I'm just gonna bake it in the air fryer when those come out and cool. So I'm just gonna pop these. All right, and I'm gonna fill this up. Okay, so just spread that out. Okay, and again, this is going in the air fryer for at 350 for about 10, 15 minutes until I get a nice little crust at the top. Okay. Just gonna get a little bit of olive oil on the top. And we'll get that in the air fryer next. The stuffed acorn squash came out. I added some green onions and some more cheese on top, some grated Parmigiano cheese. I'm gonna add some of these uh, tomatoes that I pulled out of my uh, click and grow garden. These are mini tomatoes. All right, and the, uh, the rice also came out of the air fryer. Uh, the remaining rice, it gave it a nice crust here. I'm just gonna Put a couple of scoops because you know you gotta have you gotta have extra stuffing when you when you make these things i'm just gonna grab that that one looks like a perfect mini tomato mm, nice and sweet beautiful 
Add some more of this, this grated cheese to the top. So now let's give it a taste. And it's a nice crust. You can feel it and everything's kind of melted and look at that. It's still steaming hot. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. Nice. Get that chorizo sweetness come out, that sausage. Also, the uh, the rice gives it a nice texture. Oh, the cheese. Oh, this is great. This is great. You guys got to give this a shot. Look at that nice crust. Mmm. Mmm.